All right, I'm going to bring up, uh, you know, you were you were hitting a drop for a king. I'm going to talk about the Lizard King as <laughs> the, the Lizard King, Sammy Watkins himself. Are you going to mean Jim Morrison, Jason? I was going to bring that up the other day. I don't even know if Jason knows what oh, reference course. he's making. Wait, are you telling me that Jim Morrison is known as the Lizard King? Yes. Well, does he have I'll a, be. Does he have a song called The Lizard King? It's The Doors, man. Uh, some references to some cr weird stuff. I'm yes. just searching for drops here. I mean, if <laughs> well, you could say people are strange. When you're a stranger. I'm just proud that I knew that. Yes, Anyways, I'm pretty proud, I'm too. impressed. Moving on. You guys ever heard of Hootie and the Blowfish? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Sammy Watkins, nobody wants, right? Sammy, Agreed. Sammy That's, Watkins. It's fair. And they, he's burned too many people in the past. This offseason. He's an arsonist. When, Fantasy uh, arsonist. Oh, I like it. <laughs> I like that, Mike. It, this this offseason, when it looked like Tyree Kill's NFL career was over, Sammy Watkins was someone that, I, you know, he was rising up the draft boards, even though people were a little bit afraid. I was arguing for him to be a top 15 wide receiver, and then the situation changed. Tyree Kill came back, and Sammy Watkins has plummeted. He's plummeted to where you can get him oftentimes in your draft in the 10th round. His average Too soon. Draft <laughs> oh, my goodness. The, the, his average draft position right now is the back of the ninth. He is the wide receiver 42 off the board. He is the number two wide receiver for Pat Mahomes. I mean... That alone should say wide receiver 42 is too low, but let's just look at what he actually already did with Pat Mahomes because last year he had eight games that he played healthy in or at least healthy enough to where he was on the field and wasn't you know in there for two snaps and gone. And in those eight games, he, he was very fantasy relevant. Six out of his eight games that he played – he was a wide receiver three or better, all the way up to being the wide receiver number three on a certain week. And and you've got a guy who was on pace for uh, over 1,000 yards and six touchdowns. He is one of their better red zone options. All three of his touchdowns came in the red zone with Pat Mahomes. He was a guy that was already in the games he played, tracking as basically the wide receiver 20. And now you've got him at wide receiver 42, the upside is there. I mean, the touchdown volume is there. His target count was just barely behind Tyree Kills. Now, he's not as freakish as Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill was the number one wide receiver in fantasy last year. But the number two on a team that we all agree is one of the either the best offense in the league or the second best offense in the league. I, I get it. I get the logic behind that argument. And he's, you know, he's the number two, but obviously Kelsey Hill. Sure. Take the cake on targets. I I'm looking at Sammy Watkins' situation. Like I don't I don't need to get into the injury concerns or um, you know reliability factor to make a case against him. I think it's a team. I have a team context case against him. Okay, which is we we look at the Miko Hardman draft pick and we look at Tyree Kill and we say, oh, they're hedging against that. I don't believe that. I believe they're hedging against what they need to do with this with this uh, receiving core financially. Sammy Watkins, if he's on the roster next season, is a $21 million cap hit. He will be cut. in. My, I believe he will be cut after this season he unless he a, goes... He's a 22... Oh, no, okay. I'm he's sorry. a $21, yes, $21 million, million dollar cap yes. hit if he's on the roster next year. They have to negotiate a contract extension for Tyreek Hill if they want to keep him in Kansas City. So my peripheral fear is... Miko Hardman, Darwin Thompson, Kelsey. The offense is not going to work through Sammy. He may be a residual beneficiary, but this may not have anything to do with him being a value this year. They may just, I mean, you got to use him up, use him in the red zone, best quarterback in football, best offense. I think you're, you can be 100% right, and he can still not be on the Chiefs next year, which is my concern, because I don't see how you keep him. How do you keep a guy that you can drop for $7 million dead cap for $21 million to be maybe the fourth option in your offense. That's sure. that's it, the only thing I want to bring to light for dynasty owners of Sammy Watkins. I don't think you're going to be attached to Patrick Mahomes much longer. Yeah, I mean, dy dynasty owners, I'm, I'm fine with that argument. But for the value in your draft this weekend, he is going to be a Kansas City Chief. Cause Let, let's look at – He uh, is. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, he will, he will be. He's a ninth-round pick. I'm curious, um, Mike – 
you heard Jason talk about Watkins. He's going around MVS. Sterling Shepard, Sterling Larry Shepard, uh, Corey Davis, I would Deshaun Jackson. I would much rather have Sammy Watkins than all those guys. I think I would too. He's just I oh think, whoa! I mean, stop the presses. What just happened? Well, I mean, you're telling me to decide between Sammy Watkins and Corey Davis. Exactly, the Jason. Wow, you did you it! You did it, man! You dropped Sammy Watkins far oh, enough. I'm gonna cry. Stop it! <laughs> stop it, Andy. It's too kind. Um. There you go. So Sammy Watkins, Jason's value going in uh, the ninth round right now. Oh, hey, wasn't expecting you. Thanks for watching the video. You should check out the long form, the hour. Check it out. Subscribe to the Fantasy Footballers channel.